G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Wolfenstein 3D. Released in 1992, developed by id Software and published by Apogee Software, this one uh, follows the adventure of William B.J. Blaskowitz trying to escape a Nazi German prison and uh, a bunch of other stuff too, uh, not the least of which killing Hitler in the end if I remember correctly. Uh, this one was one of the biggest DOS titles of all time, along with like Doom and Commander Keen and all the other good stuff, often referred to as the grandfather of 3D shooters. Wow, that is a big, uh, big title. Mouse enabled, let's have a look at the settings. Sound, well, looks good. Change view, what does that do? Oh, okay, no. View's good, view's good. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, episode one, Escape from Wolfenstein. How tough am I? Can I play, Daddy? Don't hurt me. Bring him on. I'm Death Incarnate. I will do Don't Hurt Me because I'm a big baby. Get psyched! Oh, yeah. Now, um, I never really... Oh, where am I? There's a dead guy there. Space opens doors, if I remember right. I'm in some kind of prison. Right, yeah, of course. Ooh, food. I don't need it yet. I remember playing this one as a young boy. It was actually installed on the classroom computer when I was seven years old. So I was in like grade two. You would never see that these days, would you? Like, what the hell? Why were we allowed to play Wolfenstein 3D in class? Like, if you finish your work early, it was okay. Go on the computer, play games. Ah, oh, Nazi. Okay, he's dead. That's good. But yeah, everyone, all the smart kids after they finish their work early. Uh, not to to my own horn or anything, but I was a pretty smart seven-year-old, so I always finished my shit early. And, um, they, we all crowded around the computer and played games like Wolfenstein 3D and Duke Nukem. And, uh, I can't believe they let us do that. This game is violent. It's violent! I didn't actually play that much of it, I actually watched more of it. Because, to be honest, it kind of disturbed me. The, the creepy view of the a single hand in the middle of the screen holding a gun and I wasn't very comfortable with killing people even if they are Nazis um, and the blood that comes out of them and stuff I didn't know what Nazis were at the time obviously I don't think many seven-year-olds do maybe Jewish ones I don't know I don't know that wasn't offensive to say was it I'm just saying that if you're Jewish maybe your parents would ah, be especially inclined to inform you about the Horrible, horrible tragedies of World War Two and all that. Oh, don't drag me out on a podium right now. I didn't say something horrible. Good, good. <laughs> um, not that I'm, I'm tempted to or anything. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, at the time I, I didn't know what a Nazi was. So these were just bad guys. In fact, I had never even heard the word Nazi spoken out loud. So I used to call them Nazis. We gotta get all the Nazis. There's Nazis everywhere. That's, that's the kind of stuff that I would say. Uh, same in the game. Um, there was an Indiana Jones game on PC, a really old one with Nazis in it. I call them Nazis then too. I didn't figure out what they were for a long time. Anyway, that's my little story of my experience with this game. I, I didn't play it much. I've seen bits of it. I've seen the ending. The ending's pretty glorious. With the Hitler boss battle and stuff. I don't think there are any other games to let you kill Hitler. But please do correct me if I'm wrong, I'd love to know of them because that was a wacky boss fight. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about the actual gameplay. Um, what have I got here? I've got on the bottom screen I'm on floor one, I've got a score, I've got lives, I've got health percentage and like in Doom I've got a little face at the bottom, BJ's face there which indicates how much health I have as well as the health percentage meter. Uh, as I take damage, the face gets more beaten up and depressed. See, now I've got a bloody nose and stuff. I guess I just start off with, ah, some vintage type pistol here. And you pick up more guns along the way. And uh, the goal, I think, is just to get to these elevators. Oh uh, yeah, you get a little summary at the end. Floor one completed, bonus, time, par, kill ratio, secret ratio, treasure ratio. Well done. Get psyched. Wonder what level two's like. It controls really well, by the way. 
uh, you can either use the uh, mouse or the keyboard to to aim. I'm using the keyboard at the moment. Maybe I'll switch over to the mouse and see how this works. Uh, okay, that seems to work fairly well. Looks like the scroll button, if I click that, that opens doors. No, I'm going to use the keyboard for old time's sake. Get out of here, you German Shepherd dog. Oh, it's a German Shepherd and we're in Germany. That's interesting. Well, no, it's not. This wall looks different. Is it something? No, I guess I'm imagining things. I'm sure there are secrets in this game. In fact, I know there are secrets in this game. But I don't know where they are. Oh, and it may look very bland and very uh, boring, but uh, this is revolutionary stuff back in the day. This paved the way for... Oh, come on, stupid dog. I feel kind of bad killing the dogs, but they tried to get me, okay? I'm sorry. They're Nazi dogs. That makes me feel better about it. The evil dogs. <laughs> no, um... Ah! It's paved the way for games like uh, Doom, most notably. I'm wasting so much ammo. I'm gonna be fucked. Do I have, like, a backup weapon if I get in trouble? Can I use my fists? Let's see. Oh, I have a knife. Okay. <laughs> I love that sound effect. Cool, cool. What's in these doors? Oh, no. A bunch of skeletons. Ooh, that guy's facing away from me. Let's shank him. Uh. <laughs> That actually worked. I thought he'd turn around and beat my ass. Oh, we got two doors. Okay. And I get so, so very lost in games like these. Everything looks a bit samey. Hmm. What does a green barrel do? Apparently nothing. Okay. Man, there's some horrible stuff going on in these rooms. Skeletons and shit. Portraits of Hitler, yeah. This game did caught a lot of controversy at the time, obviously. To the uh, prominence of swastikas and all that kind of stuff. It was uh, actually banned in Germany, despite you being a good guy and killing uh, Nazis. All kind of Nazi propaganda. And, well, this isn't propaganda, obviously, but symbolism and stuff is very, very tightly controlled in Germany. And I am losing health badly. Look at poor BJ down the bottom there. He's like, oh man, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm on my last legs. And uh, this is the only Wolfenstein game I've ever played, except for the uh, recent one called Wolfenstein The New Order. That game was kick-ass, and I really, really liked that one. It actually had a surprisingly uh, good story to it, and good characterization. Ooh, food. What's all these chicken dinners lying on the ground? I mean, I mean, I assume that's what they are. You gotta use your imagination. It looks like a chicken drumstick with some mashed potato and some greens. Maybe some broccoli or string beans. I don't know. I don't know what these goblets and treasures do either. I guess it's just for point's sake. I don't think you can ever use them for anything. Ah, uh, where do I go? Have I been in here? Oh crap, I think I have. This is like a big dining hall or something. Um, oh no, this is going to go downhill now. I'm sorry if this video isn't very exciting. Because I am a failure apparently and I'm just going to retread everything. And that's not very exciting. Wait, have I been here? We really need a... Oh, I haven't been here, there's a guy. As much as I hate you bastard Nazis, it's always a good sign when you see one. It means you haven't visited this area before. This looks like... Mmm, chicken. Just looks like a bunch of cells again. It's a bit laborious doing 90 degree turns in this one as well. I think you can strafe. If I hold down... Yeah, if I hold down alt, I can strafe. Which uh, hasn't been necessary so far, but could be handy in the future. Damn, this is a dead end. Can't open these steel doors, by the way. They're just decorative if I... Uh, if I remember right, I, I'm pretty sure they are. What's through here? wonder if there are any boss battles in this game apart from the final one. Oh, is this the exit? Or oh, is this where I started? Damn, it's where I started. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Lost in Castle Wolfenstein. 
That's why it's called Wolfenstein, if I didn't remember that. I mean, say that already. It's because the name of the castle is Castle Wolfenstein. I don't know why it's called... What was that? I don't know. I don't know why it's called Wolfenstein. I don't know what Wolfenstein is in English. Uh, I could easily Google it, but I'm sure one of you will correct me, as you so often like to do. And that's okay. I like learning. Tell me what Wol Wolfenstein means in uh, English. And this is pissing me the hell off. Where am I going? Alright, let's go through this very meticulously. This is a dead end. Remember that. These are just uh, empty rooms. This door leads... Yeah, that's a dead end as well. The only way to go is this way then. Okay. Oh, we got a whole... Uh, there's too many places to go. Where? Is this the right way? Ah! Yes, it is. Awesome. Guy was just standing there waiting for me. You know, I always wished that these suits of armor would, like, come to life. Or I could climb into them. But they don't do anything. Unfortunately. There aren't really any fantasy elements in this. Okay, now we're in a wooden area. Die! It seems like you don't even have to aim that well. The kind of bullets sometimes just kind of track in on the enemies. Like, if you saw that just then, no, hang on, I'm gonna do with this guy. Ah, oh, there's three Nazis. The Nazis, the Nazis are everywhere. Okay. But as I was saying, you can just fire kind of in the general direction of the Nazis sometimes, and they will die. Which I'm not complaining about, it would be... It's a little tricky to aim. What's in here? Barrel central in here. I always picture these as nuclear waste barrels. Because they're green and they're barrels. I don't know, that's why I think when I see green barrels. Red barrels is explosive. Whoa, this guy's different colored. Ah! Whoa. Ah, oh, yes, I got a new weapon. I assume this is a machine gun of some sort. Some kind of automatic weapon. Let's go test it out. Come on, get through the door. Let's kill some more guys. Ah, uh, is this dizzying to watch? Oh yeah, that was badass. I could take out a whole room of these guys. What's around here? Die! Oh, that works really good. I'm just worried about my ammo. Oh yeah, come here you blue guy. I guess he's like a general or a commanding officer or something. I don't know, but because of his suit, he has more health. The power of the blue clothes. And collect all these all these artifacts and stuff. I don't need him that bad. I should probably end this video before it rages on for like a half hour, like my Doom video. That was a bit tedious. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the end of the level. Uh, oh no, there's three guys in here. Whoa, yeah. How do I get out of here? Oh, this is a dead end as well. I'm pretty sure some of these paintings hold secrets behind them, like... Occasionally you can actually activate them and they kind of rise up and there's a secret door behind them, but none of these are evidently All right, where do I go now? I don't know. Did I come from here? Sure did This has got to be the way I must be missing something Where do I go? Hmm. Not through here, okay Nope, I guess this isn't the right way <sighs> There's lots of uh, passages that go nowhere, which pisses me the hell off. Unless I'm doing something critically wrong. In which case, I am sorry. I am no Wolfenstein 3D professional. I should play some of like the very, very early... Oh yeah, a guy to kill. Very, very, very early Wolfenstein games. There's a lot of people seem to think this is the... Ah, uh... oh, it's a dead end! Seem to think this is the very first Wolfenstein game ever made, but it really is not. And uh, I may show more of them to you guys in the future if you are interested. I think I am totally fucked. Ah! Ach du lieber! Whoa. I got a thing that made a noise. Sound effects are, are cool. Like, listen to the noise when I pick up treasure. Mm 
I like it. I like it. Call me crazy. I don't care. Ugh, can't get around the stupid shrubs. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm screwed. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I'm lost in the castle of Wolfenstein. No, this is where I started in the blue area. Ah! Ah! Die, you! Yeah. What's this door? Oh no! Dogs and two blue guys! Die, blue guys! Ah! Yeah, we must be near the exit now. Oh my god, this area is huge. Alright, let's go this way. Let's go this way. I said like half an hour ago that I was going to end this video, but I wanted to find the exit, damn it. Level 2 seems a lot longer than level 1. Which I guess is... Oh, a key. That is a key, right? Yeah. Cool. Where can we put this? Gotta find a hole to put the thing in. Put a key in the hole. That door looks like it might need a key. Will it need a key? Alright. Get out. Yeah! Level 2 completed! That one's awesome. Ah, so this is Wolfenstein 3D. Obviously there's a hell of a lot more to it, but thanks very much for watching my little video on it. Uh, if you like this video, kill a Nazi for me. No. Please uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more awesomely awesome stuff like this in the future. Die, you! Yeah. I want to listen to this gun one more time. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, everybody.